Welcome back. I wanted to make a quick video. Um, the Corvette video has just come out this weekend, and I kind of wanted to get everybody's input. Uh, whether you thought I talked too much, didn't talk enough, the time lapses were too much, you didn't like the music, uh, lighting wasn't good, the angle of my details wasn't good, whatever. If you guys have any type of constructive criticism at all, put it down there in the comments section. I will get back to you as soon as I read the comments and maybe adjust it in my next videos coming up. And I have some details scheduled. I just don't know when I'm going to be doing them because here in Indiana it's still still cold unfortunately and I can't be doing details outside washing the car outside getting my hose out and it'll freeze up and stuff like that so hang tight I'm gonna have several detailing videos throughout this whole spring summer and fall hopefully about every weekend I hopefully I can put out a detailing video so I thought maybe in this video I would just do a, a garage tour just a real quick garage tour my garage it's nothing fancy trust me but at least I can kind of show you around my garage that you guys see in the videos quite often so I'll take you for a tour. So here you go, like I said, nothing fancy. Just a 20 foot by 20 foot garage. Here's my 60 gallon compressor that I use when doing automotive work here at the house. This lawnmower right here, this is a Troy built and it does have a flat tire, I need to replace it. But I just got this last, last summer and it's a 2006 model, I believe. And I put those designs right there on the side because there was no writing left. So the backstory on that is used to go to my grandma and grandpa's house all the time and I'd drive by this guy's house and this lawnmower was just sitting up against his shed and it sat there for several years, never moved, had weeds growing around it. So I stopped in one day and talked to the guy and ended up making a deal where he just said he wanted to get rid of it and if I could get his go-kart running so his daughter could drive it, he'd give me the lawnmower. So I got the go-kart running and she's been driving it and I got the lawnmower. I've got, I don't remember how much money into it, three or four hundred dollars I think I don't remember uh, getting the engine going uh, new belts uh, new blades spark plugs air filter valve cover gaskets flush the engine and put AMS oil oil in it air filter battery uh, I had to paint a lot of stuff a lot of stuff was the paint was off of I didn't have to I guess I mean I could have just mowed the way it was but I'm not that type of person I gotta have have it looking better than just rusty all over the place so anyways then there's my works blower. This is going to be gone soon, my Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight trailer. Um, I just, just don't need it. I'm going to get rid of it that way. I can. I got a folding a bench that I made back here that folds down. You know, right back here. It folds down, so, you know, for stuff like this. But it folds up when that's not in here, and it gives me a lot more space. I, my vice is on there, my uh, grinder's on there, and I just I want my bench back. And of course, my daughter's car is parked here. And honestly, we might be making a video on this soon because she asked me if we could clean this car up. So, I might make a video of it. Got my Harbor Freight welder. You know, people are gonna talk about Harbor Freight because I, I have a majority snap-on tools at work, but this is my home stuff and I don't need anything fancy here. And then I have a bunch of tools hanging on the wall. And there's my detail cart. And then this is where I keep the majority of my detailing products. I was telling you guys in the Corvette video, I have tons of this, six bottles of this pre-wax cleanser left. These are all brand new bottles. Once they're gone, they're gone. I got a full gallon of finishing sealant for the Boss system and perfecting cream. And then behind all of that, all of my AMS oil stuff. And if you don't have any of this right here, quick shot, uh, it's put it in your gas and your lawn mowers you need to buy some. If you have problems starting your lawnmowers at all, that stuff, first time you hit the key, it starts up. But here's my cabinet, my Griot's cabinet. Got some stickers on there. And then inside, this is where, this is just an old armoire that was in my daughter's room that we were just gonna get rid of, so I just painted it. I got my Boss uh, polisher here that I have not used yet. I think you guys heard me say it in my second video. And here's different waxes what I use on the Corvettes right here, three in one, then my leather cleaner, poly wax, extra glass cleaner. And at the back I have a blow dryer. I don't think you can see that, nope. Anyways, and then here's my two, my three inch polisher, my six inch and all my waxes and polishes in there as well. And then down here's all my gallons and my 32 ounce bottles, you know, paint prep, wheel cleaner, microfiber foam pad cleaner. 
and then all of my gallons are all sitting back there. I've got two gallons of speed shine, bug and smudge remover, best of show detailer, wheel cleaner, microfiber foam pad cleaner, spray on wax, and rinseless washing wax. And then down here is where I keep all my microfibers, most of them, if they're not new still in the bags. And this is where my spray on car wash is and my drying towels and stuff like that. And I got a small Harbor Freight press. You know, just overstock stuff up here. Kids bikes. This is my home toolbox. It's an absolute mess. Give you guys an idea. It's an absolute mess. But got to have some tools here at the house. And then my Harbor Freight sandblasting cabinet. And I'll tell you what, if you're a mechanic and you work at home, that thing works great. And it's like 150 bucks. Definitely worth the money. I use soda in it and I've cleaned cylinder heads that I've rebuilt, I've actually done there. Parts washer, and then there's my Astro light. This little snap-on fan is pretty cool. It's got the time. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yep, and, that's, and the temperature, it says it's 63 degrees in here. And then my ion radio that I got from Snap-on when I bought my toolbox from them. Up here is my television I have in the garage, which I've only been using for my videos lately because I can just hook it up to my camera and watch them. You know, each segment that I make, when I stop recording, I can actually just put it on there and I can watch and see what you guys see. Make sure everything looks good. Little funnel buddy. Now this is a portable washing machine that like RV, people that go uh, RV camping, stuff like that, they can take with them. I actually use this to clean my microfiber towels when it's warm enough outside. Otherwise I use the one inside, but it's actually a, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these small capacity but it, it thing works awesome and then that's the washing portion and then the dryers right in here works very very well then up here is where all my there's my Adams polish of stuff that I got in the mystery boxes I'm sure you've seen the videos of uh, Grios paint cleaning clay bumper trim conditioner trim restore and then on this side is my griots bottles 20 all my 22 ounce bottles are in here and yes all the sprayers face the same way i don't know if you notice that in the other cabinet too um including my adams my son says that i'm crazy for doing that but spray on car wash best of show spray wax best of show detailer bug and smudge speed shine spray on car wash i'm almost out of interior detailer and bug barricade i just like you know i had the uh, speed shine and spray on wax let's see what else my interior cleaner no not interior cleaner I'm sorry what else do I have maybe it's my spray on car wash I had those all in 32 ounce bottles and I just like these 22 ounce bottles better they fit my hands better so I just I bought some 22 ounce bottles of spray on wax just one and then I buy it by the gallon so I just refill this bottle up dried on wax removal these are what I use for the paint prep or removing bugs this is what i use to put on leather these are from griots as well leather cleaners i should say and these are just kind of mis miscellaneous or i don't know if you call it i use them for applying wax sometimes by hand i got two of those and then i use these little brushes i got from home depot or walmart for my bumper and trim conditioner as well as these but these get in the, this gets in the tight places that you can't get with that i've only used the black shine trimmer store one time but this is the applicator for that and then up here is my overstock i've got some spray on car wash towels new some interior cleaner towels and then inside this uh, i'm not even looking at my camera interior cleaner towels this this bag here is all those these are brand new bags of the wheel cleaners i think i showed in one of my videos i i'm down to about four and i buy those whenever griots has a uh, garage sale here in Plainfield, Indiana, because all their liquids are made here in Plainfield, Indiana, which um, it's only about 30 minutes from where I'm at. So I always go to the garage sale and buy tons of towels and those wheel cleaners and stuff like that. Stuff I know I use a bunch of. And they see three inch blue applicator pads. And then I have some, what I consider utility cloths. These are made by 3M, just microfibers that I can use for anything I don't want to use my nice microfibers for. And I got the black shine tire dressing, black shine trim, tire and trim coating. You know, and then there's the Adam stuff again. That stuff is awesome, the tire shine. 
and uh, I haven't done a video on this. So I don't know if you would be interested in seeing a video on this, let me know. This is the garage utility vac made by Hoover. That thing is awesome. It's got a 30 foot hose on it, so you can get all over your garage. It's got all kinds of accessories with it. Uh, and the bag hangs on the wall, you know, crevice tools. And this is one I use the most of carpets, a small crevice. It's got a long crevice. It's got a floor brush and extension. So it's kind of like sweeping the floor with a vacuum cleaner. But that thing is really cool, but it's kind of expensive. I think it's like $200, but man, I have used the snot out of that thing. It just keeps on going. And there's that blue point snap on light that I was using in my Corvette video. And I just got some jacks on my hardware. And then up here's all my chemicals I use. I used to do what I consider part-time work at home. I guess working on people's cars at home just for cash on the weekends. I enjoy detailing better, so I've pretty much stopped doing that. You know, this is all training fluid up here and coolant, power steering fluid, and then you got brake cleaning, carburetor cleaner, parts blaster, all kinds of lubricants, uh, all-purpose cleaners. Then I got my RTVs. There's the tire foam stuff, several cans of that that I've tried that never worked out for tire shine. I got brake caliper paint, which I'm thinking about painting the calipers on our journey red. I don't know yet though. Uh, and then up here is just some paint stuff. And then down here is all my yard stuff. And that's pretty much it for my garage. Like I said, it's not, it's not much, just a regular old garage. But then the car that I want that I'll never be able to afford, the Demon. Pretty much it. Well, that's it, that's my garage. Like I said, it's nothing fancy or anything like that. I do appreciate having a garage, that's for sure. But, you know, I don't have any big expensive equipment or anything like that, but I thought I'd at least give you guys a tour, make this video something. So, as of, I just checked before I turned the camera back on, I have 45 subscribers, so I've gained uh, a little less than 20 in the last week. That is just so awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. If 45 was the amount that I had, from here on out, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not in it to make money. I'm not in it to be famous or anything like that. I just enjoy doing these videos. I love interacting with you guys when you comment on my videos. So once again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if it's your first time on this channel, the reason I'm making this video is because of some Corvette videos I made before this one. Go back and watch those. Um, hit that subscribe button if you like those videos and that little bell that sits right next to it. That way, every time I make a video, you will know as soon as it comes on. So once again, thank you everybody for subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next videos.